What's up, GMA fam? It's your girl, that grandma, the old lady gamer. And I'm back again in The Sims 3. We are going through this tomb. We're in search of the axe. The axe in particular is an old um, enchanted axe. It'll be the axe that will break all of these large rocks. So let's get to it. I need to find. Okay, there's Rashid right there. It's been a minute since I played this game. So I'm telling him to go to the stairs. It's a lot of up and down in this. Okay, so we here. We need to kind of pull up some of these walls. And I need him to, let's see, we need to find out if we need to inspect something. Okay, he can change his clothes because they hate getting in the water with their regular clothes on. So he needs to change to that and explore this, this water tunnel or this little pool. Russell. She just saw an exotic fish. There's a secret tunnel at the bottom of the well. What should Rashid do? Swim through the tunnel. All right, it's led him to this, these two. First thing I want to do is inspect these floor. All right, so I want him to disarm it. Alright, so now he can go in here and collect any jewels that's in this room. Now we can always... Um, I just started this without adding my cheats in. Testing cheats. Enabled. True. And also put in the buy debug. So we can see all the stuff that we need to see when we go into buy build mode. And with the cheats on, I could always teleport him around things that I don't want him to get to. Like this floor, this floor trap, this floor trap, and then getting over here. But I'm going to have him teleport to this point. This saves you some time by just teleporting porting through if you're on a budget. You got two or three days and you can't bring them back or get if you want to get everything done in a three day vacation. Just use your your testing cheats and your teleports and you can teleport around all of these items. But because he has handiness, these inspect these um traps aren't gonna be much for him i just speed through the process this arm now he can pick up these items remember we here to get a pickaxe but hey this stuff is sitting here to be gotten okay so he came in one of these but he could go back do this I'm gonna tell him to explore that now I've never done this route before so you and I both are gonna see there was nothing when he comes back up that's the jade he got the money he got ancient coins lapis um, traps that he picked up let's see um, trap uh, this trap appears to be a stream. He learned so oh, she's learning stuff. So th that was nothing. Okay. So now I want him to go around here 
and inspect. This is a trap. But he has to be able to inspect it. Go here. And I'm not able to get him. Okay, see the wheel there? The wheel mean that's a trap, but it's not letting me, him expect, inspect it. So I'm going to teleport him past it. Tell him to walk here. Maybe it'll trigger it. It's not letting him do it. Use the stairs, my man. Like I said, we got a bunch of stairs to go up and down. And the process of, of solving this tomb is kind of long with all of the stairs going up and down. Okay, there's a trap there. He needs to... Hold up. Hold up. I'm going to teleport him here. Pull that. Okay, so he triggered all of those traps. But it's not going to trigger that one, okay? So I need him to come around here and take these stairs. Wait a minute. He could take these stairs up. He came down those stairs. But he could take those stairs up. Because most likely. Okay. So we're here. He can't get in through there. I could teleport him through these spots. But I want him to use the. the um, so he needs to take, take those stairs down. And I need him to take these stairs up. And I'm not going to even let him inspect anything. I don't know if there's a trap around here or not. Right here. Right here. Oh, it didn't happen. Okay. All right. Up the stairs. All right. So he needs to take. There's no other where place to go. Okay, so you got to take that going down. And we following him. All right, now there is a trigger. There's a wall here, but he has to disarm this. And I believe there's a trap before he gets to it. Oh, okay, not. He needs to disarm that so he can inspect that. This arm. Okay. And inspect that. Alright. So that one opened up this wall. Let's open the chest. See what's inside. Okay. That wasn't what we was looking for. Alright. So we need for him to take these stairs any stairs he can't get you know get to you know the system will tell he'll tell you he can't take the stairs all right so now we at that wall where the axe is I need to raise the walls you'll come around here and grab this axe I can lower the uh -uh, I can lower the walls too. So this is what I want him to do. Take this. That's what he was looking for. Now he's triggering other traps and other ways that you can go through. All right. So now you got to go back down those stairs. He can deliver the axe, but he still got to get out of here. And as you've seen before, it was a, ooh, it was a maze to get to him. So now it's going to be a maze to get out of here. Okay, you can take these steps. Okay. 
Okay, you'll need to take those steps. You want him to come back up on the on that area where those rocks were, cause now he can he can crush the rocks. Okay, he using these steps. I had to get around to the stairs. Did I give him a a sleeping bag? No, I gave him a tent. Oh, he do got a sleeping bag. Now. The same one he walked past before, now it's triggered. Come on, man. Use the steps. You done already triggered that. He get upstairs, I give him his backpack. I know he could have slept downstairs. Okay. Place. Tell him to sleep. He got work to do when he wake up. And that includes taking these rocks out. I need him to smash that. And I need him to smash that. He may be, he may not be able to smash that. He might have to smash it from the other side. Now I could go back and play her and let him sleep at regular speed. Um, wants to chat with Reed, sure. It's 2 p.m. We can put this back in the inventory. Get him something to eat. Play online and get his fun up. Okay. And I don't, I can't remember if he got another swim thing to go through. Get his fun up. He can collect this. Um. I need, hold up. Now getting through this is kind of tricky. I want to show you how to get through this. But. I haven't played this in a minute. So. Getting through it will be. Like. He can't walk through that, but I could teleport him through there. So I could tell him, tell him to go here, and then we'll see his reaction. Oh, Darkle, Vertuni! Oh, okay. So let's change into every day. And then let's meditate. Because the easiest way to get through this little crook right here is to make him meditate to over here. But the biggest issue is, where is it? He need to come here and inspect this wall to get into this area. There's something here. There's a chest in here. Um, we're going to walk him over here. So, once he get his meditation done, he should be able to meditate to here. He got to get his elevation up first. Okay. He can meditate. He can elevate. He's the best point of meditation. So I could tell him to Zen port here. All right. So now he can inspect this. All right. I want him to open that. 
while he's here. And I want him to collect this, not light the candle, low quality, he can leave that there. Collect that. Oh, I forgot these here. Collect this and collect those. Then I want them to come back through here. I have to close the door once he comes in. Go here. I have to close the door. All right. Now I need him to go over here and inspect that. And he'll have to open it. He'll have to push it open. Alright, so now he can get to this. This chest here. Alright, so this is a Chinese symbol of Pangu Haven. This is the tomb that he went to, through. This tells you that he completed that tomb. Okay. So he can close that up. All right, I need him to open here. Open that up so he can get out. See, all of this takes time. I could have just teleported him in and out and we'd have been done with it. All right, so now he has to go back down. What is stairs at? I need him to... Not those stairs. These stairs. Use those stairs. Alright, he can use these stairs. This one gonna trigger. Remember, he walked past it before. Now he wet, he'll be all right. <coughs> and all I gotta do is tell him to change out of that outfit into a swimwear. The wetness will be gone. That wet feeling it is gone. All right, so he's going to. I need him to get to this one. I can't remember. That's another Zen port. But I'm just going to teleport him so he can open up this chest. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Throat just feels a little funny. He needs to take this stairs. Because there's more to this tomb. And what you see, these are all the parts he's been to. Now he can explore this. He explored it once. This, this is gonna trigger. Okay, he wasn't close enough for it to the trigger. Remember, I couldn't, I couldn't get him to expect that before. Now I can. It's either this one. It must be this one. Explore that one. He came up through that one before, so. One of these is going to take him to another part of the tomb that we can't even see right now. Okay. Come on, man. Okay, so is this one? You'll be all right. Okay, there you go. Hold up. And wait a minute. It's this one. It's a maze. It's a tomb, y'all. I don't forgot. I ain't played this. I haven't played World Adventure in a year. Swim through. All right. So, so now he's needing that axe for sure. He's going to do a lot of smashing to get where he got to go. Now he can smash this one. And this axe will be used in France 
it'll be used in Egypt too. That's the reason why you start China's tombs first. Alright, he can open that. He can collect the coins. He can collect the money bag. When he get finished. He already, energy is already gone. Already. Look at that. And it's just 2 in the morning. Alright, we're going to let him go ahead and sleep again. Where's the, where's the bag? Okay. Place it so he can sleep. Let him sleep again. Get his energy back up. Find out what's going on with her. She need to go to sleep. I don't know why she walking around here like she don't have to. They want to all stay out there and do what they want to do. Let them do them. Get your sleep, girl. When you get up... Eat a morsel. She needs to take a shower. She needs to do this and have her get her fun up. And let's go back to him. This is the trials of playing two Sims at the same time in World Adventure. Okay, so when he get up. He can put this in, he can smash, you can put this in the inventory, brother. Let's get him, get this bag in the inventory so he'll have it. I keep a tune, I keep a sleeping bag on them and I keep a tent on them. Put that in the inventory, smash that, and then change the outfit to every day. Once he smashed this, and these are regular walls, just regular walls. Okay, he can go upstairs, use the steps. He's heading out of the tomb, so he can deliver the axe. But his axe delivery is going to keep, they're going to tell him to keep the, the axe. Because he's going to need it. Or they're going to need it. Now, I've never been able to open up this, unlock this door. Because if they smash this, they can walk through the entryway this rock is covering. Okay, I want him to collect all of this. All of these coins can be used to buy their passports. And I need to check the audio, the music volume in this game. Because I can't, re okay, I haven't changed it. I've played uh, Sims 4. Usually, if I'm playing without recording, I will adjust volumes. All right, so he's she just completed the legendary Pegu Haven. Don't rest as there is a new adventure in, to be had. So like I stated, he received this, which is the representation for that tomb. <laughs> if we go into his um, travel history, China. All right, he's almost level three, which means he can receive his um visa for china i didn't purchase hers yet because i wanted him to get through the tombs first and still they have to do the six tombs if we go here um where uh adventures no collections tombs we haven't re done six mm -mm, we haven't done six tombs in china just two the uh lost Army Otis found unknown uh, the halls of the lost army, which was the first tomb she did, and this one here, which is what he's done. And we need to complete six of them in each world to finish one of the world adventures 
I mean, one of the lifetime wishes in World Adventures. Um, he can smash this. Once he smashed this, he's pretty much ready to go to leave. I could tell him to deliver the axe. Now all the entryways are open and we'll follow him to deliver the axe, but we'll speed up his his travel. In China there's a lot of running because you have to make the bike paths or the car paths in order to get on wheels. All right, so now he's there. And she says, I thought that this would be incredible, but I wasn't quite prepared for the reality of the acts. Uh, do not, I do not feel comfortable holding it. You should carry it. It took me some time, but I narrowed down the most desired, the despised boulder. Okay, um, smash the boulder blocking the entrance to the hot springs. I desire a relic within the tomb blocked by the boulder. Destroy the boulder, find the relic, and return to me. Objective, destroy the boulder blocking the tomb of the hot springs. Find the relic within the tomb and return it to her. It should have had her name. Um, so he got some visa points, some simoleons and ancient coins. He got 40 visa points, 2,000 simoleons and 160 ancient coins. We're going to say yes. We're going to pause this. And now we're going to go back into our book because he wasn't but a minute away from getting his visa. He's still 83. <laughs>